the American alligator is a member of the order Crocodilia and one of the two modern species of alligators. These alligators can be found in the southeastern United States, including the states of Louisiana, Florida and Georgia. They inhabit many freshwater biomes, such as wetlands, ponds, lakes and rivers. Female alligators can reach about 3.5 meters in length and weigh up to 180 kilograms, while males can be much bigger. The largest verified male alligator was 4.5 meters long and weighed 458 kilograms. But there are also several unverified reports describing real monsters. According to them, some alligators can reach about 6 meters long and weigh more than 1000 kilograms. Alligators are cold blooded animals and often bask in the sun to stay active. Since they don't have to expend a lot of energy to warm their bodies, they need much less food than warm blooded animals of the same weight. Alligators can hunt at any time of the day, since the water stays quite warm even at night. There are apex predators in their habitats, so almost any animal on land or in the water can become prey. One of the main food sources is fish, including large predatory species. Alligators have special sensory organs on their faces that allow them to detect even tiny movements in the water, so muddy water is not a big problem for hunting. They also have extremely powerful jaws and very strong teeth, which allow them to crush hard shells of turtles. Even if some teeth are lost, alligators easily grow new ones of the same size and strength, which is a very interesting ability, since their teeth are similar in structure to the teeth of humans. Alligators can chew, and their teeth are good only to hold prey, but not to tear it apart. So, if the prey is too big to swallow it whole, alligators use a technique called the death roll. Alligators can feed on various snakes, such as invasive Burmese pythons, which have become a serious problem in Florida. They also prey on all mammals they can overpower, including opossums, rats and nutrients. Big alligators can successfully hunt deer and wild pigs.
They can chase prey on land at speeds of up to 18 km per hour, but only for very short distances. Alligators often eat raccoons, but are also capable of catching such predators as bobcats, cougars, and even black bears. Alligators are not afraid to live near humans, so encounters are inevitable. Almost any water source can become a home for an alligator looking for a new territory. Large alligators can consider humans as prey, so it's better not to lose vigilance, even near golf course ponds. When alligators attack, they usually try to drown their victim, or to tear off a part of the body with the death roll. About 30 people have been killed by alligators since 1948, and about 450 have been injured. Killing alligators without a permit is illegal, so if an alligator invades your property, you need to call a special service to remove it. But some people try to deal with alligators by themselves. Many people consider alligators stupid animals, but in fact they can exhibit rather complex behavior, especially by reptile standards. They can learn and remember things, solve problems and choose the optimal behavior for each situation. But one of their most interesting abilities is the using of sticks to hunt birds during their nesting season, which can be considered as the use of tools. Alligators can intentionally find sticks, place them on their snouts and wait until any bird decides to grab that stick for its nest. But often the simple way of hunting is the most effective. The breeding season of alligators begins in the spring. Males start to bellow to declare their territory and attract females. These sounds have a low frequency and include infrasound, which we can't hear. But we can see the so-called water dance created by these powerful sound waves. Each male defends its territory from other males and can fight them if necessary. These fights can be fierce and sometimes even lead to the death of one of the opponents. Females prefer to mate with the largest males, with the deepest and loudest bellowing. About a month after mating, the female is ready to lay up to 50 eggs. But first, she builds a nest consisting primarily of mud and various plant materials. 
after about 65 days of incubation, the newborn alligators call for their mother by making chirping sounds. She helps them to emerge from the nest, carefully takes the young into her mouth and brings them to the water. The mother guards her offspring for about a year, but all this time they have to find food by themselves. Baby alligators can hunt almost all small animals, including insects, fish and frogs. But they will also enjoy the leftovers of their mother's food. Alligators grow quite fast and through their first year of life can grow from about 20 cm long to about 50 cm long. Young alligators must avoid many predators, including large fish, herons, raccoons and even other alligators, except their own mother. Cannibalism is a common thing among alligators, especially among the big ones that don't have enough other prey to hunt. At the age of about 10 to 16 years old, alligators reach sexual maturity and are considered fully adult. Among all crocodilians, American alligators are the most cold tolerant and are the only ones that can live in freezing waters. If the water starts to freeze, alligators stick their noses above the surface to breathe and stay in that position, trapped in the ice. They can remain in this state for about a week or even more, but as soon as the warm weather comes back, the ice melts and the alligators return to their normal lives. Even despite their strength and high adaptability, alligators are very vulnerable in the face of their greatest danger, which is humans. Alligators were hunted uncontrollably till 1967, and by that time their numbers had drastically reduced. Fortunately, in 1967, alligators were placed on the endangered species list and taken under protection. But alligator goods such as alligator meat and skin were still popular, and there arose the problem of illegal hunting. This problem was solved by alligator farms, which produced alligator goods and made illegal hunting unprofitable. By 1987, alligators were considered fully recovered, and now they successfully coexist with humans. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your impressions in the comments. That's all for today by everyone.